Hi, all my beautiful peacocks. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to bring you this perfume haul. I have been away for a little while, went on vacation, then I got back to work and just got so busy. But I thought I would kind of show you through the past few weeks, um, just different perfumes that I've picked up along my travels, um, right before I went on vacation, um, during my vacation, and then since I have been back home. So I hope you're excited as I am about this video. And I'm so excited how much my Peacock family has grown almost to 5,000 subscribers. I'm very, very excited. And so I thought I would go ahead and show you all of these things. Just stay tuned. It's going to be a, a kind of a long video. I'm not going over like notes or anything like that. Just going to show you what I've bought. So I hope you just sit back, relax, enjoy this video and check out some of these new perfumes that I've picked up. first perfume I'm going to be talking about is by, and I, I actually smelled this in store at Ulta and I didn't buy it right then and there. Of course, I don't like to pay full price for perfume, but I smelled it and I was like, hmm, do I really like this perfume? I, I don't know. So every time I would go back to Ulta, I would try this perfume and it just kind of like stuck with me, you know, like I really like that perfume. Like once it dries down, like in the very beginning, it's just kind of get, it's one of those perfumes where you have to kind of get used to it. You know what I mean? But I started really becoming, you know, <sighs> crazy for this perfume. So anyway, this is by Calvin Klein and you know, the only Calvin Klein perfume that I've ever worn is Eternity. And that was like one of my favorites during, I think the nineties. Um, that was like a big to do perfume. And, uh, this is by Calvin Klein and it's called women. Now I know I've got my ring light on. I'm sorry about that. Let me turn my ring light off and Let's see. Oh, I'm getting brighter here. Okay. I hope you can still see it, but it's, um, in this box set and I actually got this on fragrance net. It's a box set. And I was kind of, you know, cause in Ulta, it wasn't a box set or anything, but it has a little crystal like eye and that actually is part of the lid. So I'll take it out of the box here in just a moment, but it came with a body lotion and this is, let's see, is it a, yes, it's a little um, sprayer. So for your purse. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna really enjoy this because I didn't even know I had, <laughs> I didn't even know this was actually a box set when I purchased it. I thought it was just the perfume. So when it came in, I'm like, Ooh, this is a fancy box. And then when I opened it, I saw, Oh, it's got a body lotion and then a little purse spray to go with it. So, and it was very affordable. So anyway, I'll take the bottle out of the box. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. And it's kind of hard to like really see this eye, but this is the, I'll try to stay out of the way here but this is the actual lid for the perfume. So I, don't, I didn't really care for that too much, you know, but maybe it's because it's this box set. Cause like I said, in the store, I don't remember it having this. It was just like a regular top. And I thought, okay, I could take this lid out, you know, of this, but it's, it's not, it's like all one piece. But anyway, this is the bottle here and it's an eau de parfum spray. And I just, it's a really clean scent and I really like it. So I went ahead and, you know, purchased it and everything, but this is a really nice, fresh scent. Very, very nice. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen, I put stories up. And so if I'm not on YouTube making videos 
or putting something on my community tab and that's another thing I have a community tab if you're not you know checking that out you really need to they're on your notification bell or I think it's like it's like a little notification you can click it and you can hit that you want to see videos and also like feeds from me like from the community tab and I upload pictures there new fragrances that I buy so if you're you don't have that um, set up that feature set up on YouTube you really need to set that up because it's very very um, inter informing I kind of stay in touch with y'all and so I really highly recommend that you start getting the feed so you can and we can chit chat also on there but if not I'll leave a link here and then you can go and check me out on Instagram you can always talk to me there as well but I'm always posting things like some new perfumes that I picked up and things like that but this is a, a niche fragrance this is Juliet has a gun and it is sunny side up and I was asked by one of my subscribers uh, about this perfume. I didn't actually have it in my collection, but I had went um, several weeks ago to Houston and the Sephora that I went to at Memorial City Mall, and I talked about this in another video, had this whole line and I just instantly thought, oh, this, this smells so familiar to me, but I really, really like it. It's just a different fragrance. It's so, it's a fresh scent, clean, but you know, maybe some people would even say soapy. But anyway, I picked this up. Juliet has a gun, sunny side up. So, and if you want to see reviews over any of these perfumes, leave me some comments down below. I'm going to be trying to work on that and get some videos up. Okay, so I went and purchased a perfume. I'm not showing you that one yet, but I purchased a perfume. I was actually in Dillard's. I had a gift card and I picked that fragrance up. But while I was there, I tested this fragrance, but I didn't purchase it from Dillard's. I actually purchased this from fragrance net and this is by Gucci. It's Gucci Guilty and it's the absolute poor femme. And this is an eau de parfum. Oh my goodness. This perfume smells so good. I really want to do a review over this perfume, but I love the bottle. And I love, you know, the color of it and everything. But I just automatically was like, you know, I need this fragrance. And actually when I checked fragrance net, they didn't have it yet. And I kept checking and checking and checking and there it was, purchased it. So yeah, I can't wait to talk to you about this fragrance. This is Gucci Guilty Absolute for Femme. Okay, the fragrance that I actually bought at Dillard's with the gift card, and this is by Oscar de la Renta, and this is Bella Blanca. Now, they do have one that's called Bella Rosa, I think it is, but I didn't even sniff it. I'm just not big on rose, and so I didn't even try it, but now I think I, I really want to try it, but this is the bottle. It's so pretty. Of course, I got the big bottle, and... I was going to buy this on FragranceNet, but FragranceNet didn't have it, and I just couldn't wait. And so, your girl here paid full price, but like I said, I had a gift card, so it was a gift for myself. And just such a stunning bottle. I love it. I mean, this is really what captured me first. But I have to say, the scent is very, very nice. Very feminine scent and I can't wait to talk about this. I want to do a review over this perfume. This is like, I don't have any other Oscar de la Renta perfumes. So anyway, let me know if you want a, a review. I want to do a review over it and uh, talk to y'all about it. Okay, so while I was on vacation and let me tell you a little bit about my vacation. So my husband and I, we actually went to Dallas for a couple of days. I actually got to see my best friend from like back, I, we became best friends back in junior high, back in the 80s. And um, I, I was so excited. We actually had dinner with her and her husband. And it was really, really nice. And we went to Meek Casino Restaurant at the Star. 
and that's just like a big shopping center and has like lots of restaurants very very nice and we just had a really really good time so cold it was so cold that night but anyway while i was there i was trying to check out like tj maxx and ross and everything and this is something that i picked up very inexpensively i want to say it was like 19.99 and it is a 50 milliliter 1.7 fluid ounce by mark jacobs and this one's called honey now they didn't call it dot because i have like red dot this one's just called honey but I've had this one before and I actually, I couldn't remember if I had it or not, but then it hit me. I actually gave this as a gift to, I had a larger bottle and I gave this as a gift to my daughter-in-law. I think it was for Christmas. I didn't keep it. So I thought I would just pick it up and just keep it for my collection because I really thought the bottle, you know, was so cute. And it really reminds me of honeysuckles. So if you like that kind of scent, then you would like something like this. Okay, another set that I actually got, and this was another bargain. This was from TJ Maxx, and I got this set for $22. And this is, I'm going to hope I'm saying this right, Signorina Mysteriosa. And this is by Salvatore Ferragamo. And this is like one of my very first fragrances from this uh, particular brand okay so here is the actual set i know it's kind of dark right now but um it has the perfume and then this is a body lotion and then it came with the bath and shower gel so here is a closer look actually at the bottle i know it's hard to see that but let me get it in the light here but this is the bottle here and i've actually seen some reviews about this and oh it smells really good it's sweet it's on the sweeter side heavier sweeter side so yeah this is uh the 1.7 fluid ounce and this is let me say it signorina mysteriosa by salvatore ferragamo i love this bottle it's just kind of kind of jazzy looking Okay, so the next fragrance that I actually, I ordered this, this was a launch on QVC's website. This is the Mon Guerlain Bloom of Rose EDT, and this is the full-size bottle. This is the 3.3 fluid ounce, 100 ml. And this came in, I know everybody wants me to do a review over this because I did put this on uh, my Instagram, and I was very, like, I put something out there and then I started wearing it. So I can't wait to talk to you about this particular fragrance, but let me show you the bottle. It's in the same style bottle and it's, it's just, I love the packaging. It just has this, you know, more of a rosier pink trim, whereas the Mon Guerlain has more of like, um, just kind of a gold trim and then the Mon Guerlain Floral has more of a rose gold so this one has more of this pinkish color but yeah I had to pick this up I love Mon Guerlain that's my favorite perfume the EDP I don't have the EDT everybody's telling me to get the EDT so I may pick that up Macy's has a sale going on where it's got Floral and the EDT on sale so I'm definitely thinking about picking that up while it's on sale now I did pick up another Sud Pacific perfume and this is the Eau de Toilette it is 30 milliliters one fluid ounce and this is the vanilla Banan Banan this is the packaging here and this is it right here so I have vanilla cocoa and then I have it uh, vanilla extreme I just love these they're um, you know concentrated to be an eau de toilette I really like these for like the summertime but really anytime you could use these and they're very small so they're great for travel and if you haven't seen my review over the perfume that came, the, the pillar of this perfume, it is called Dolce & Gabbana, The Only One 2. And I did a review over The Only One, the original. I had to pick this up. I was just so anxious to see what this would compare to the original. But this is the bottle here, and I got the full-size bottle. 
I actually got mine from, was it perfume.com? So I didn't pay full price for it. But it's, mm, love these fragrances. I just love this line and I can't wait to talk to you more about it. Okay, this is my last perfume and this is by Victor and Rolf and it is Flower Balm Midnight. Um, I love Flower Balm and I love nectar flower bomb nectar so i thought i'm gonna get this tried out and i actually ordered it from victor and rolf's website and they even i don't know if you can see this let's see if it'll try to zoom in on it anyway if you can see that they actually engraved my name on there well you get to choose what you want and i just put peacock on it i thought that was really really cool. It came with this little embellishment. You got to pick your embellishment and everything, but that was the first time I actually ever ordered from Victor and Rolf's website. So I did pay full price for this, but I was so anxious to try out this perfume. <sighs> yeah. And I really cannot wait to do a review about this and give you the spill on this juice because everybody really needs to know what's going on okay so that was everything that i picked up during like i said right before vacation during vacation and when i got back so i was so excited to get all of these new perfumes i've been trying them and i can't wait to do some reviews for you so if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button today and hit that notification bell so every time i upload a new video you will be notified and also if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and let me know how much you like haul videos for perfumes. And so I cannot wait to hear from y'all. Leave me some comments down below. I can't wait to chat with you. It's been a while. And I hope to see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. See y'all soon. Bye y'all.